What's up, amazing people, and you're welcome once again to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video to watch. Thank you so much. I pray that you learn a lot from it, as I am also doing. If you are new here, you are welcome. My name is Cardimel. My friends call me Cad B, and I am the King's daughter. In this channel, I create everything about God, and today is Monday, and Mondays are for Bible studies. Um. To my subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing. God bless you and help you to also share, share and keep commenting to this channel. Today we're talking about life versus food. What has life gotten to do with food? Hmm. So this um, revelation came when I was reading Psalm 91 verse 16 when the Lord said, with long life, I will satisfy you. I was like, okay, satisfy me. So I looked up for the meaning of satisfaction in the dictionary, and it was the fulfillment of one's needs or expectation. Okay. And then a scenario came into mind. You know when your mommy or your whoever cooks, and the person has dished food for everyone, and you know you are not satisfied. You can go to the person and ask for an extra spoon or an extra plate. And the person will give on to thee and you will eat and be satisfied. Now that is what God is talking about when he says, With long life I will satisfy you. Now that brought me back to the story in 2 Kings chapter um, 20. When King Hezekiah was very ill, and the Lord told Prophet Isaiah to go and tell him to prepare his home and that he's not going to recover from this illness. Um, Isaiah chapter 20 verse 2 says that Hezekiah turned to the wall and cried out and said, Remember, Lord, that I've been faithful and loyal to you. I try to do everything you tell me to do. He cried bitterly. Now, Bible says that when Prophet Isaiah was on his way back home, the Lord told him to go back and tell him that he's going to add an extra 15 years onto his life. That is, with longer life, I will satisfy you. Now, it means that if Hezekiah has not been able to accomplish whatever he wants to accomplish for the Lord, God has given him an extra 15 years to do that. And that is the same way to us. My, my argument is, in verse 3, when he said, Lord, remember what I have done for you. So I was asking myself, what have you done for the Lord? Then I went back to 2 Kings chapter 18, verses 4 or 5. When he said that, Hezekiah trusted in the Lord, the God of Israel. Judah never had another king like him or even before him. And after him, he was faithful to the Lord and never disobeyed God. He was careful to obey all the commandments that the Lord gave to Moses. So the Lord was with him and he succeeded in everything that he did. He was successful with it. Now, this was the lifestyle King Hezekiah lived. For him to walk, have that confidence to say, Lord, remember what I have done for you. Now, the question here is, what are we going to tell God to remember of us for him to give us an extra years for him to satisfy us with long life so like the back to the kitchen when you tell your mommy you want an extra plate or an extra spoon sometimes our mothers will just give us because the food is going to go bad or just because we are obedient they'll give us or they look at the fact that we helped them to cook. We were hard working when we were around them to give us. Now, God will also want to know what you want him to remember you of. So what are we doing now? Or what have we done in the past for us to tell God, God, remember what we have done for you? Now, the good news is, if we haven't done anything, then today is the time we have to start something. Start working for God. Start putting things in place so that God will remember what you are doing for him and bless you and satisfy you and give you all that your heart desires. 
Now, it's rather unfortunate that we find joy in the things that God says no. We find so much joy in the things that God says I hate. And yet, those things don't even satisfy us. So today, if you are watching this video, I want you to please meditate this evening about this message. Think about it. Is there some things you are doing that God says no to? If yes, please put a stop to it. And then look at the lifestyle of King Hezekiah. When the Bible says that he trusted God, he lived a faithful life. And God blessed him. He became successful. Let's go back to the lifestyle of King Hezekiah. Look at the good things he did for the Lord and start implementing it in our life. So that when you are on your knees praying, you can tell the God, the God of Hezekiah, that since you have given Hezekiah an extra 15 years, you're also going to bless me. That is one of the things that we pray, which is called a strategic prayer. So please, I don't know the time you are watching this video, but can you just, after, after watching, can you just spend some time with yourself? Think about it. What should God remember me of? What am I doing for the Lord, for him to bless me, for him to, to provoke the heavens upon my life, to bless me? If there is nothing I'm doing, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? I hope this video has been a blessing unto you, just as it has been to me. I pray that the Holy Spirit will help us to be able to live a good life for the Lord to be pleased with us. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to share, comment, and like. And please stay safe. Don't forget to apply all the preventive measures we have been told to do. So that at the end of all this pandemic, we can give glory to the Lord. Thank you so much. And let's meet on Wednesday. Bye.